Whips are one of the most stylish things you can do on a mountain bike. Simply shift your weight up the takeoff and try and throw it sideways in the air. Neil's trying, bless him, but I reckon I can do better. You want to be really comfortable with jumping before you start learning how to whip. So if you've not checked it out already, check out our, our video on how to make height on jumps. You can click up here for that one, or the link's in the description down below. So once you've checked that out, it's good to find yourself a hip jump like this, where you've got a takeoff and quite a big landing that's a slightly different angle to takeoff. So you can get a feel for moving the bike around in the air, like Mark did, move the back of the bike out in the air, you don't really have to bring the bike back straight to land because you've got that bank to land onto. So how exactly do you get your bike moving in the air? On this jump, it's a hip slightly to the left, so I'm going to whip the bike out to the right. Just as I'm about to take off, I turn ever so slightly with the bars and hang my weight off the left-hand side of the bike a little bit. That's going to initiate that sideways motion. You can then push the back end out with your feet the biggest part of this, remembering that although your bike needs slightly sideways, you want to almost keep your body facing that way to get that pop to pull the bike back straight and land as straight as you can. Most riders have a preferred way to throw their whips. Personally, I ride right foot forward and I like my forward foot to be on the outside when I whip. Having said that, Neil is completely opposite. What I suggest, have a play around and see which way works best for you. Okay, so once you've got a feel for the bike moving around in the air and you've worked out which way to whip feels best for you, how do you start moving on to a bigger whip? Well, actually, you need a bigger jump. It's much easier to do a big whip when you've got that extra time in the air. Obviously, the consequences of it going wrong are slightly worse. Here we've got a big hip jump and now to get the bike even more sideways, I'm going to use the same technique I used on the small jump, turn up the takeoff, but actually I'm going to pull the bars across my body and push my feet out even further. That's going to get the bike nice and sideways in the air, and then I need to muscle the bike back straight. Again, trying to keep my body facing in the direction that I'm actually jumping, and the bike is turning more than that, and I'm going to muscle the bike back and straight for the landing. So as you can see, whips are loads of fun, whether you're down your local woods like this, or even on the racetrack like Danny Hart, also, when you get confident doing them, you start throwing the bike sideways and flat, something I like really doing, by pulling the outside hand up and dipping my knee into the top tube. Would you call that your signature move, Neil? Uh, it's patented, I'm afraid. So if you want to do it, you have to pay me a pound every time you want to do it. So All right. put that in the post. Um, now, for more videos from GMBN, you can click up here for our how-to bunny hop video. And if you have got a whip completely wrong, chances are you will get it wrong, because I've done so in my past. Check out down here how to fix a tacoed wheel trail side. Handy. Cool. And click here to subscribe to GMBN. Three. I did this the other day. Thumb up like, thumb up like. I thought it was funny. Yeah, John. That was flat, proper flat. Three. Two, one, go. So whips are one of the most cool things. Uh, whoa, whoa. Hey, getting bigger.